Her boyfriend Scott Disick was recently exposed for sending a bitter DM about his ex Courtney Kardashian's PDA packed romance with Travis Barker. But Amelia Hamlin appeared to have the drama far and away from her mind on Thursday as she uploaded a slideshow of new sizzling snaps to Instagram. Wanna get lunch? Captioned the 20 year old model, who flashed her toned tummy for the camera in a trendy mesh tie front cardigan. Amelia, who has been romantically linked to Scott since October, paired her risque top with some loose fitting black pants and a pair of New Balance sneakers. Several of the shots were taken outdoors in front of New York University, with Hamlin rocking a pair of chunky black sunglasses over her eyes. The final snap showed the Instagram star posing in a narrow hallway with one hand pressed against the wall as she removed her shades. Despite using the city as her backdrop, Amelia did not disclose the reason behind her visit to the Big Apple to her 1 million followers. Hamlin's latest glamorous Instagram shots come just days after Scott was put on blast by Courtney's former Bo Younes Benjima on Instagram. Benjima, who dated Kardashian on and off from 2016 to 2018, shared a screenshot of an alleged message he received from Disick shading his former girlfriend's PDA-packed relationship with Barker. Yo is this chick okay? wrote Scott, 38, in his private message to Younes, which was accompanied by a Daily Mail. Com photo of Courtney and Travis making out in Italy. Younes later shared the DM to his Instagram story, revealing that he took the high road by replying, Doesn't matter to me as long as she's happy PS, I ain't your bro. And as the duo do not follow each other on Instagram, for the screenshot, Scott would have had to go out of his way to message Younes about their shared ex's relationship. Making it very clear that he and Scott were never on good terms, Younes continued to write, Keep the same energy you had about me publicly, privately. The statement seemed to be in reference to Scott stating on the Keeping Up With The Kardashians reunion that he wanted to kill anyone linked to Courtney as he specified, well, the last guy. Let's all be honest here. Scott was definitely embarrassed by Eunice sharing his DM, a source told Us Weekly on Wednesday, adding that the talentless founder didn't realize when he messaged him that that would happen. They continued, Scott, and him when he was in a heated moment and was just looking for him to react the same way being that they both dated Courtney. It was also alleged that relations between Scott and Courtney are currently strained because of Courtney's relationship with Travis, which commenced earlier this year. Knowing Courtney, she's probably just laughing about all of this and going about her business with Travis, the source hypothesized of the reality star's reaction to the Disick drama. Yes, she's pissed Scott's emotions about her and Travis are known now by everyone, but it's not something she didn't already know. She's been told by friends how Scott feels. It isn't going to change how she is with Travis, but it definitely made things worse between her and Scott. A source told People on Wednesday that the Touche founder does have plans to confront Scott over the bitter message once she returns to Los Angeles. Courtney was reportedly disappointed with Scott and that she was surprised, but not shocked by his seemingly jealous behavior. Scott has always had a difficult time accepting that Courtney is happy with someone else, People's source explained. He is especially threatened by her relationship with Travis, they added, noting all three of Scott and Courtney's kids love Travis which has been hard for him. Yet, he and Courtney have been getting along, the source went on to say. Courtney is disappointed that he engages in drama when they have been doing well co-parenting. She doesn't get why he felt the need to reach out to Younes. 
she will confront him about it. For now, she continues to enjoy her trip with Travis. Courtney and Scott first began dating in 2006 and were in a very on-off relationship for nearly a decade that was wrought with cheating. They finally called it quits in 2015. The former couple share three children, son Mason, 11, daughter Penelope, 9, and son Rain, 6.